Cossack and President Robert Kocharya and the RF Dashnak to tune in reviving Armenia parties will run in the forthcoming snap parliamentary elections in a bloc entitled Armenia. While the three leaders of this bloc were signing its declaration with a solemn ceremony on Sunday, their supporters gathered at Freedom Square in the heart of Yerevan. After the official ceremony, Robert Kocharyan, who has the bloc, joined the people at Freedom Square with fellow bloc leaders Ishkan Sagatedian and Vaya Hagopian, providing more direct contact to the supporters. Kocharyan took off his suit and tie on the stage, recalling that the last time he had made a public address in public was 18 years ago. Kocharyan's speech from the platform was short. The second president singled out three main directions of his campaign, border security, dignified peace in Artsakh and Karabakh, and economic growth. By the way, only Kocharyan has so far presented the election campaign and his political agenda if he is elected the prime minister. Others have not made any clear campaign promises yet. During the snap elections scheduled for June the 20th, Kocharyan's main rival will be acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Former Soviet republics on Sunday held the traditional Victory Day anniversary celebrations honoring the surrender of Nazi Germany at the end of World War II in 1945. Meanwhile, since 1991, Armenia has been marking Shushi Liberation Day, a national holiday marked in Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh as a way to celebrate the anniversary of the liberation of Shushi and the emancipation of Stepanagert from Azerbaijani forces in 1992. However, this year was of a different feeling for the whole nation as Armenian current authorities have handed over Shushi and several other Nagorno-Karabakh territories to Azerbaijan during the last Artsakh war in autumn 2020. On Sunday, Armenian acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and several other high-ranking officials visited Yerabulur military pantheon in Yerevan, where numerous fallen soldiers of the autumn war have been buried. However, because of security forces, reporters could not even approach Pashinyan to ask him questions. One woman was taken to hospital by ambulance after a major accident involving a car escorting Armenia's acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan at a downtown intersection in the capital Yerevan. The respective footage shows this woman being taken out of a Mercedes. The police informed News AM that the circumstances of this incident are being ascertained. As of Monday morning, 83 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 219,353 in the country. Also, 15 more deaths from the coronavirus were registered, making the respective total 4,249 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 622 and the total respective number so far is 205,200. Kourtney Kardashian often introduces her followers to Armenian cuisine. After a visit to Armenia, the founder of the Push website has started making posts more often about Armenian national dishes. This time, Kim Kardashian's older sister prepared the sister's favorite food, the Armenian bishi, but this time together with Kendall Jenner and Khloe Kardashian. Earlier, Kim Kardashian herself had spoken about her favorite Armenian dishes. According to Kim, they were best prepared by her grandmother Helen, the mother of Kim's father, Robert Kardashian.